By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to define the meaning of the competency-based approach. Determine the benefits of using a competency-based approach. Describe the principles of the competency-based approach in education. Identify the teacher's role and the learner's role. But, before we move forwards, if you have not been here before, then, welcome to the Univ English channel. If you do like videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also smash the notification bell. To receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this, for more information, you are invited to visit my website, english.mokerma.com. So, let's begin with this question. How can you define competency-based approach in teaching? What is competency-based education? There are many different ways to deliver instruction and most educators find what works best for their students. However, some educators are beginning to use a competency-based approach which believes that students can learn best when they are engaged in activities that challenge them and provide mastery over skills. This approach has been found to be more effective than traditional instruction methods in terms of student achievement. The competency-based approach to learning is becoming more popular in schools. The goal of this approach is to give students the skills they need to succeed in college and careers. This approach depends on assessing students' abilities and giving them the resources they need to improve their skills. This method has been found to be more accurate than traditional assessments in determining a student's readiness for college or career advancement. It also allows educators to identify areas in which students need additional instruction, helping to improve student outcomes. Background of Competency-Based Approach The competency-based approach to education is a relatively new way of thinking about how to teach that stems from the field of psychology. Competency-based education proponents believe that students should be able to demonstrate knowledge and skills in specific areas, rather than being taught everything at once. This approach to education has been slowly gaining traction over the past few decades and is now being used in schools all over the world. Students are taught in small learning communities or clusters. They are grouped together based on similar learning needs and abilities. Learners are grouped together in ways that are organized by their matching abilities, interests and needs. Learners perform tasks within a working environment as opposed to a traditional classroom situation. It focuses on the process of learning and not on the outcome. Students are required to demonstrate a comprehensive understanding of the subject matter. In traditional classrooms, students learn information and facts. In a competency-based education system, students must be able to demonstrate their level of mastery in the subject matter being taught. Students are required to demonstrate the knowledge they have gained through concrete tasks that build on each other. The competency-based education model is based on learning outcomes instead of subject areas and content. The benefits of using a competency-based approach, CBA. Competency-based education, CBE, is a type of learning model in which students are assessed on the mastery of specific competencies. This model has been shown to be more effective than traditional education models in terms of student achievement, as it allows students 1. to focus on specific skills and abilities that are most relevant to their future careers. 2. It can also help to improve retention rates and graduation rates, as it provides students with a clear understanding of what they need to know in order to succeed in their chosen profession. 3. Gain knowledge of a discipline or field. This includes the acquisition of academic information, such as learning about a topic from various sources and understanding what is important in that subject area. Knowledge of the historical background of a subject and its relevance to future research. 4. Demonstrate an awareness of the changing nature of a field or discipline. 5. Understand basic concepts in a specific discipline and its relevance to real world needs. 6. Critically evaluate information, opinions, and ideas pertaining to a discipline. Advantages of a competency based approach. The competency-based approach has many advantages. 1. 
it is easier for trainers to identify the skills and knowledge needed for their profession. 2. It provides a more accurate assessment of an individual's current level of proficiency. 3. The competency-based approach allows for better customization of learning materials and programs based on an individual's needs and goals. 4. It saves time by allowing trainers to focus on the most important areas of training. 5. It promotes accountability and professionalism in continuing education by requiring participants to demonstrate mastery of specific skills and knowledge. 6. The competency-based approach can be cost-effective because it reduces the need for expensive courseware or instructor training. How to implement the competence-based approach in your school? A competence-based approach to teaching and learning is a way of assessing what students know and can do, rather than relying on test scores alone. The idea is that each student has unique strengths and weaknesses, which should be recognized and addressed through personalized instruction. This approach has been found to be more effective than traditional teaching methods, and it's gaining popularity in schools in different countries all over the world. Here are some tips on how to implement a competency-based approach in your school. 1. Start by developing a curriculum that focuses on students' strengths. 2. Assess each student's abilities using various assessment tools. 3. Use feedback to help students improve their skills. 4. Encourage students to take ownership of their education by providing opportunities for hands-on learning and project work. 5. Celebrate success along the way. The principles of the competency-based approach in education. The competency-based approach to education is a model that emphasizes the development of skills and knowledge rather than relying on memorization of information. This model is based on the premise that students learn best when they are able to apply what they have learned in real-world contexts. These principles can be applied to any area of education, including math, science, and English language arts. The competency-based approach is based on the idea that students learn best when they are able to apply what they have learned in real-world contexts. Mastery Learning Mastery learning is a type of learning that emphasizes the development of skill in order to achieve a desired outcome. In contrast, traditional schooling typically focuses on the acquisition of knowledge. Mastery learning proponents argue that this approach is not effective in preparing students for future careers or other important pursuits. They contend that students need to focus on developing skills in order to be successful. The approach has been implemented in various forms throughout history and research suggests that it is successful in promoting learner engagement and improving student outcomes. Personalized learning. There is no doubt that personalized learning is the future of education. By tailoring content and activities to each student's individual needs, educators can ensure that all students are learning in a meaningful way. However, implementing personalized learning in a classroom can be challenging. This is particularly the case in a classroom where students' learning styles differ. Despite these challenges, there are numerous ways to implement personalized learning strategies within the classroom. Some of the most common methods include, individualized learning plans, using learning styles to structure instruction, creating a clear, consistent classroom structure and culture, Make sure that the content you teach is well-rounded and relevant to all students. Use technology to facilitate customization. Technology allows educators to customize content and activities on an individual level, making it easier for students to learn at their own pace and retain information longer. Encourage creativity and innovation. Teacher's role. Teachers are often looked up to as role models, educators who can change the lives of their students. Teachers have a very important job in helping students learn and grow. They must be knowledgeable about the subject they are teaching, have good communication skills, and be able to keep their classrooms calm. Teachers must be prepared to deal with their students' different learning styles, attitudes, and abilities. Teachers must be able to communicate effectively with their students and give them the support they need. Learner's Role Learners are a pivotal part of the teaching-learning process. 
they must be able to take in information and use it to improve their own skills. The following tips can help learners become more involved in their learning experience. 1. Make learning a fun experience. 2. Ask your friends and family to help you learn. 3. Learn from textbooks and other printed material. 4. Ask questions about the content of the lesson. 5. Attend class discussions. Ask the teacher to help you understand the lesson. 6. Go over homework assignments with your parents. 7. Look at a sample of a topic before beginning to study it in depth. 8. Find out more tips on how to learn with ASL. Conclusion A competency-based approach to education is a way of teaching that emphasizes individual student mastery over learning instead of relying on standardized tests and other measures of academic achievement. This type of instruction is popular in many countries all over the world, where students consistently rank among the highest performers on international exams. Proponents of the approach argue that it results in more creativity and critical thinking skills in students, as well as better problem-solving skills. Additionally, this approach prepares students for the real world by teaching them the skills they need to be successful. Many countries have embraced this idea and encourage teachers to consider a competency-based education to reach quality learning.